Diamond State. Uh, it's 46 today. Diamond State was actually created on the 3rd of February. 1946. 1976, I would say it's 46. Uh, we, we shall look at uh, the history of creation briefly. But what we shall do, we actually be looking at it. After so many years, uh, actually in his honor, the military regime deemed fit to name a local government in Benin State after him. I think the honor was well deserved for who he was and what he did. Now, Justaka was born in 1932, he died. 30th of March 1980. That was um, 30th of March. Just four days. It was more four days after his death. But there is something significant about just like shortly before his death. He wrote letters. Uh, the letters that you could see today are prominently. The letters he wrote to the National Assembly, the Senate in particular, the letters he wrote to his party elders in Benin State, he mentioned some of them, Guyo, Takeman, that were his closest allies. Then he wrote to the secretary of the MPN, then Thomas Dega, he wrote letters to him, and there's a couple of letters. But the letter that is of note to me and to us on this day was the letter he wrote to uh, what he said in TV. He said, Hey, Ichoya, Tichi. Then in bracket, he said, Ute, Ungo, Ahurayo, Mambai. That was the letter. That is the letter that is of note to us today. He said, Hey, Ichoya. This, most of the letters were written on the you know, 17th, 14th, 17th of March. That was uh, some few days to step, uh, about 10, 10 to 12, 10, there are about days to before his death. Uh, this letter is in Tibet. I think I'll, I'll read the translated version so that it will have a wider reach. But the opening of the letter was Hey, Italian Tichi. That means the, 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 the letter was so specific, it was right here to the Tibet. Actually, uh, he spoke about his sentiments, but he said two things that are of note to us today. And then I read the letter now. Again. To my fellow T people, fathers, mothers, friends, and brothers, I am happy to report to you that. I successfully completed the work that God gave me the opportunity to do. And so this is my last word to you. Every thief man should take these words seriously and keep them. My first task in my political career was to ensure the creation of states so that every part of this country would benefit. That was under the umbrella of the defunct UNBC. T people followed me in this 
Unfortunately, UMBC did not form the central government and therefore two people were in the opposition. That is why the two people did not get any fair deal in that dispensation. That civilian government did not last as the military took over government. I was then appointed a minister in that administration in charge of transportation. I still pursued my agenda of state creation in that regime, relatedly, and was one of those that convinced General Yakub Gowan to create 12 states out of the region, after the regions. Thereafter, seven more states were created, making it 19. That was how far my commitment to our people on state creation could go. I am happy that most sections in Nigeria are satisfied with state creation, and I am too. When party politics returned in 1979, my concern was that the people should not continue to be in the opposition, as it was the case in the First Republic. That was the reason I convinced you all to join me in the MPN, where I was one of the founding fathers. I knew the MPN would form the central government. Here too, my, de my desire was met because MPN formed the government at the center and the two people were not left out. Now, the two important issues that bothered me in my political career were settled. I am grateful to God for the opportunity he has given me to complete my assignment here. I have finished my task, so this is where I leave you all. God has called me. I am not pained that I am going to die because my heart desires have been met. I am advising you all now for the last time. Let every team man hold on to the MPN with their two hands because it is the MPN that has delivered the two people out of slavery. Do not allow a few thief sons who, because of money, have joined other political parties to gain financial benefits. Let them not use you to get money for themselves. I am going, but leaving you with Aperiku and others who would not say the thief people. They will all lead you until the day God will also call you to meet me. Please remain united with one voice. Till you come, Doctor Chief J S Taka. That was Taka's letter. Actually, this is a translation. The original letter was written in Tiba and it was richer in the language. But uh, yes, yes, it's actually exercised some of the sentiments. So to Taka, he joined politics because of two reasons. First, so that states will be created. I have to give a background. Jeff Tucker joined politics in 1954 when he left his teaching job and uh, went, won federal election to Lagos. Uh, at that time, it was on non-party basis where the politics had all started. The first elections actually were held in 1951. It was part of the 1954 elections. By 1957, the UNBC was formed but at that point he had had parliamentary experience and then luckily for him he emerged as a chairman of the UNBC that had elements like most of those who are known Muslims in the north those were the elements that formed the United Middle Congress it was actually a, a party that was formed to challenge what they thought the House of Fulanese and other Muslims were doing the big northern region that was created in 1953 by the white people. But he attended the Winnie Commission of 1958. That was where most of the minority in Nigeria gathered to, to, to actually establish their premises. So 
the issue of creation of states actually they wanted the middle belt region out of the big middle region out of the big northern region they didn't have that then when the first region was created apart from the three big ones it was the mid region the mid western region which was created out of the western region and part of the eastern region what today you have mostly the south south But when the first coup took place in 1960, truncating the first republic, luckily for him, Jastaka became part of that regime, the Yakubu Gawan, the Yakubu Gawan's regime, not the Agui ones that have just lasted for some time. So, in the letter, if, if you were listening, he said he persuaded Gawan to create 12 states. So in 1967, now the first states, the first 12 states were created. Benue Plateau was created. That was not exactly what they wanted. They had wanted like a chief state, like some kind of a state where the chief will have the majority seat. So the yearnings continue until on this day for 46 years. The state was created. You know, when the proper history is not told, people like Jess Daka will not be celebrated. Today we have a couple of politicians that actually will celebrate them. Uh, but the importance of history is that it brings out some of these deep issues out. The sacrifices of people, the visions of people, and to some extent, the mistakes. Because the sentiments. Of just that kind, as he penned in the letter, where that he was creating a state. The state was going to be created for thief people, more or less. Because it's thief state. Because in the letter, he almost said so. But in that state, you have the Jukuns. You have the Tulos, you have the Igedes, you have the Igalas. Yeah. The Igalas were the majority of the team. So, you are beginning to see the same problem that was obtainable in the northern region, where the House of Fulani dominated activities going to happen again in a state where you have the thief as majority and uh, it was true to it that in 1979 after two nine 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 after two 